In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an effective habit tracker with a 7-day streak in Notion. Whether you're looking to build new habits or maintain existing ones, this tutorial will guide you step by step on setting up a habit tracker that keeps you motivated and on track. If you want to boost your productivity and achieve your goals, stick around and let's dive into creating your perfect habit tracker in Notion. So let's get started. First, let's create a new page in Notion and name it Habit Tracker. To make it visually appealing, add a cute icon and a cover image. For the cover, we're using Unsplash. Simply type your keyword. For example, I'll search for a pleasant image, but feel free to choose an image that matches your aesthetic. Next, set the display to full width for better visibility. Turn off comments and backlinks to keep the page clean and focused. Now let's structure our homepage. Select the two column layout because we will use the left side for our 70 tricks summary and the right side for the main pages. We will create the three main pages, habit tracker, monthly progress, and goals. Turn on this as heading 2 for a clear and organized layout. Now let's move on to goal setting. First, create a new table view and rename it goals. To keep things tidy, hide the table title. Next, add a select property for the goal category. You can list categories such as health and fitness, personal development, career and professional, finance, learning, home and lifestyle, wellness, and self-care. Arrange at these options in any order you prefer. Add a checkbox property named Complete It and move this property to the front for easy access. Now list all your specific goals and assign a category to each goal. To enhance this, create a new database view as a board view. Hide the title for a clear look and make sure to display the completed property so you can easily check off goals as you achieve them. To track your progress visually, change the count to percent checked and select completed. This way, as you check off your goals, you can see your progress in percentage, providing a clear and motivating overview of your achievements. Now let's create the habit tracker. Start by selecting a table view, creating a new table. Name it habit tracker and hide the title for a clear look. For the name property, you set to add at the days of the week. Whether you start your week on Monday or Sunday, enter all the days from Monday to Sunday. Then add icons by selecting all the pages, clicking on edit icon, and applying it all to pages. Turn this first property into a date property and assign this week's dates. Next, create your habit list. Add a new property as a checkbox property and rename it with your habit name. Duplicate this property for each habit you want to track. By setting up your database this way, you can add a new view as a gallery, then set the card view to none, card size to small, and show all your habit properties, including the date. This setup allows you to easily check off your habits each day. To filter the view to only show the current week, select Add Filter, then choose Date. Click the ellipses menu and select Add to Advanced Filter. Add a filter rule, change it to or and set it to date is empty. This way, if you forget to add a date to a new page, it will still be visible, reminding you to add the date. One crucial addition is habit progress. Open one of your habit pages, create a new property as a formula, rename it progress, and select edit. To get the value of the habit checkbox, use two number function. Inside of the brackets, select the habit property. When you check your habit, it will give you a value of 1. Add all your habits by using two number function again. Adding the habit property and repeating for all habits. To calculate the percentage, divide this habit value by the total number of habits, which is 7. And multiply by 100. Use the round up function to round up the percentage. To add a progress bar in Notion, select Edit Property, change the type to percent, 
and choose either bar or ring. Adjust the formula to 5 by 100 to fit the percentage format. For tidying up and organizing your formula, use Shift plus Return on Mac or Shift plus Enter on Windows to make the line go down. This makes it look nicer and easier to read. Then show this progress bar in your database view. Next, add a new view as a calendar and show all your habit properties. Duplicate the calendar view and set one to show the calendar as a week. Choose your preferred view, weekly habits as a gallery or calendar. Next, we're going to create a habit monthly progress tracker. Start by creating a new table view, rename it monthly progress, and hiding the title. In the name property, list all 12 months. This will help you track your habit progress month by month. Select all and edit the icon to a calendar icon for a consistent look. First, create a relation property to link to the habit tracker. Show this relation on the habit tracker and name the relation property Then customize the icon. Now, go back to your habit tracker, select all pages, click the ellipsis menu, select edit property, then monthly progress, and link all the months You'll see the linked pages in the monthly progress table, allowing you to create a formula for monthly progress. To keep things tidy, it's an off the rep column feature. Then create a formula property, rename it monthly progress, and select edit. We're using the letter function to assign multiple variables with the values. Assign the first variable as habit log, comma, then select the habit tracker property after the comma. Make sure to select from the list, then it will be highlighted in gray or the formula will not work. Use the filter function to specify the current month, current dot date property. Use the format date and type this inside double quotes within the brackets, then equals to name property from this monthly progress to match the name property of the month. If you call out this variable habit log, you'll see all habit daily logs for the month. Make sure to select a month with habit tracker dates to answer the formula words. This formula will apply to all months, but if there's no log for a month, there will be no value. Next, assign a new variable called habit progress sum. Then call the habit log variable with the map function, then current dot progress to get the progress percentage from all logs. Use the sum function at the end. We need one more value to calculate progress in percentage. The total number of logged days. Assign a new variable called habit count, then call habit log dot length function. This will give us the total of daily habits logged filtered by the specific month. Now let's calculate our habit progress. Use the if function function if habit count equals zero return zero otherwise return habit progress sum divided by habit count wrap it in brackets and multiply by 100 to round it up use the round function wrap it in brackets and divide by 100 Add your progress bar by selecting the property, editing the property, changing the name for to percent, and selecting bar. Now you have your monthly progress. Add a gallery view to show your monthly progress. For this monthly progress, add a journal or reflection section. Create a text property for highlights, challenges, and reflection. Then create a label for it using a formula property. Use a style function, type highlights inside double quotes, then another double quotes, type B for bold. I want space for its entry, so add double quotes slash end. Duplicate this property for the other text entry and rename them accordingly. Hide these label properties. Show them in the gallery view. Don't forget to turn on the wrap function. When you want to write your habit progress journal, hover over the card, click the pen icon, and start writing. Reflecting on your habits is crucial for effective habit tracking. It helps you understand your progress, identify patterns, and make necessary adjustments. By regularly reviewing your habits, you can celebrate your successes, learn from your challenges, and set more realistic goals for the future. Now for the fun part, creating the 7 days trick. Start by creating a new table, renaming it 7 days trick, and hiding the title. Change this table view to a gallery view, delete any extra pages, as we only need one. Open the page, 
give it the title of 7 days trick and add a cute icon. Before writing the formula, create a relation property to link to the habit tracker. Show this on the habit tracker and name the property 7 days trick in the habit tracker. Next, go to the habit tracker database, select all pages and link to the 7 days trick to all pages. When you add a new page in the tracker, monthly progress and 7 days trick are not automatically linked, so we need to create a default template. Click the drop down arrow, select a new template, add an icon, link this template page to the 7 days trick and also to all months. You can hide this property for a clear look. Set it as the default template for all views. Now, whenever you add a new page, it will be automatically linked to the monthly progress and the 7 days string to the pages. And the icon will be added too. However, we can hide this in the table view to keep it clean. Next, let's write the formula for our 7 days string. Create a new property as a formula and name it habit1. We will use the list of function, then assign a variable name as habit. Selecting the habit tracker property from the selection, we want a summary for the 7 days tree only for the current week. So we use the filter function, current.date.formatDate, then type this to include year and week. Equals to now function, format date with the same format. We will start with one habit to customize the value from the formula. Use the filter function again, current, then habit property name. If you call the habit variable, you will get the habit tracker name, which is the days of the week. But since we want to calculate the total logged habit, add a length function. You will get a value, for example, for representing the total habit logged for the current week. Now, customize this value for the daily streak. Use the ifs function with s. Ifs habit equals 1, 1 fire, habit equals 2, 2 fires, and so on. You can get emoji from emoji website. I used emoji GP. I'll link it in the description. This way, if the habit is locked once, it shows one fire emoji, twice shows two fire emojis, and so on until 7. Don't forget to delete comma in the end. To enhance it further, add tags for the habit name, 8 hours sleep, add an emoji to make it more fun, and in the end of the tags, add slash n to add a line break. Then plus habit variable plus day streak to show the tags such as 5 day streak. I always like to tidy up my formulas for better organization and readability. Here's a tip to simplify your formula. Combine the two filter functions into one. After the first condition, add two and symbols, then current, the habit property. Then you can delete the last filter, making the formula simpler and cleaner. Add a line break at the top for extra space between habits. Finally, duplicate this formula property, rename it habit2, change the habit property name, text, and emoji. Repeat this process for all your habits. Here are a few tips to make your habit tracking even more effective. Start small with manageable habits that you can easily incorporate into your daily routine. Aim for consistency rather than perfection, as doing a little bit every day is more sustainable than trying to do too much at once. Reward yourself for small wins to stay motivated. Regularly review your habits and progress, and adjust your approach if something isn't working. And there you have it, an aesthetic but minimalist habit tracker with a progress bar and a 7 days trick to keep you on track and motivated. You can also track your habits on your phone, which is why we created a calorie view. It's easier to track your habits on the go. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helps you create an effective habit tracker in Notion that keeps you motivated and on track. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Notion tutorials and organizing your life. Be happy tracking and I'll see you in the next video.